All right, so the 99s. This is my first overall look. Like I've seen some of them, some of the ratings. I haven't seen all of them though. But we got five 99s this year. I don't know. I don't. I can't remember last time it was that many 99s. Like I legit cannot remember. Zach Zach Martin is the one that's holding out, right? That's the, that's the uh. Keep looking over here because my camera normally is over here. Here, but Zach Martin, that's the uh the, the guard who's holding out. Zach Martin, Justin Jefferson. Why well, got they got a flags next to their name? I mean, it's, it's cool, but I, I don't think it's necessary. Like, generally, 95% of the players in the, in the NFL are American. Tyreek got a 98. Lane Johnson, Trent Williams with a 98. Miles Garrett with a 98. Let's see, top 100, top 100 receivers, safeties. What, what, what do I want to see? I'm going to see quarterbacks. See the quarterbacks. Got them tiers. Are these tiers? One to five. The uh, twenty, the thirty. I got it. I got them sectioned off like that. Bro, ninety-seven. Ninety-five. What is this gen? General attributes average. Uh, what what is the what is the what is the purpose of this? General attributes average. Like, what are we doing with that? I'm curious if that like determines how well they play versus how well they are in the game. It's an 88, 85. Maybe it has something to do with like the mobility and everything. I don't know. Kirk got a 77. For general attributes. Lamar at a 90 is crazy. Or Lamar. 91, 90. That's high. That's considered high. For the general attributes. That's, that's the highest. Interesting. Gino got an 81. That's cool. They... Deshaun got to go off this year, bro. He got a 78. Deshaun got to go off. He got to really prove himself this year. He got a 78. Russ got to prove himself again this year. 77. I'm pretty sure Russ was like, was like what, at least an 86, 85? At the beginning of last Madden. Justin Fields a 76 as well. He got an 85 for, for general attributes. I'm assuming this is like how well they play in the game. Because for Lamar and Josh Allen to be ranked the highest, you know, there's Josh size, speed, um, throw power, you know, all that. Lamar's speed, uh, pretty good size. I think he's 6'3". Tyler, 81. Got 90-something 90, 90 speed. Russo had his worst season, to be fair. I mean, understandable, but I think... 77 is tough. Yeah, understandable. He, he's going to come back, though. He has to. Has to. All right. Daniel Jones, 75. Matt Stafford, 75. Got Bryce Young, the highest rated rookie with a 74. His general attributes is an 80. So, I'm assuming he played. So, he plays better than Jimmy Garoppolo in the game. Jared Goff. I know Jared not bad. Kurt and Kurt Cousins. CJ Stroud got a 73. Kenny Pickett, 73. Jacoby Brissett, 72. I ain't gonna lie, Jacoby Brissett, you know, he got you know, get a guy at 75, something like that. Something like that. That's cool. He in the 70s. Mac Jones is 74. Matt Stafford. Trey Lance is 71. Sam Darnold. So Brock Purdy got a 73. Interesting. Interesting. Tyler Huntley got a 68. I think I think Tyler deserves to be in the 70s. I think so. Zach Wilson is 69. Anthony Richardson with a 70, but he got 84 for his um general attributes. Russ is 77, disrespectful. I think he's gonna bounce back, bro. He has to. Don't see Lamar above an 89. 
I think I think we still riding off of the like a lot of people still riding off the MVP. I don't think Lamar's a bad quarterback, far from. But I think the rating probably you know is due to that. I mean, when he he's out there, he balls out. I can't think of Lamar really having a bad bad game. Pretty sure it's existed, but I can't think of think of it off the top of the head. Um, Dave Kaner, who's the worst quarterback? Stidham got a 62. Oh no no no, Stetson Bennett. That's what I'm thinking of. Stetson Bennett got a 62. I think I think Bennett gonna be nice. Stetson Bennett, like at least what I'm seeing. I like them in college anyway, so like, I thought I, I I was when I when I posted my reaction to him getting drafted, I wanted him to go to a position where he he could compete for a starting spot. If he could sit behind Matt Stafford and eventually he be the starter, that's cool too. Anthony Brown, Trace McSorley, Holton Aylers is the lowest rated quarterback with a fifty four. I watched his college highlights. He was, he was decent, a decent college, his college uh, QB. Hundred and sixty. I feel like how many hundred you tell me. What's up, Katie? I kinda wanna see the uh the, the attributes, like the individual attributes. Let's see best buy attribute. Interesting. Change of direction. This is interesting. Devontae Adams got crazy change of direction like that? Devontae Adams has the the second highest change of direction in the game. I I, I don't know about that. I think I gotta I think I gotta disagree with that. Tyreek Hill is probably the most shiftiest player in the league, arguably. I don't know if I'll put Devontae, like, Devontae rock running, yes, but like, I don't know, after the catch, if, I, if I'm thinking about after the catch, I don't know about that. Rock running, cool. But like, he had, he's, he's shifty. When I think of Tyreek Hill, Kadarius Tony, um, Jalen Waddle, I think it's shifty. I don't like, I don't look at Devontae Adams and, and, and think of that. That's tough. He has 97. Kudos to him, though. Elite player. Arguably the best receiver in the league. That's facts. But it's just this specific rating. I don't know if I if I have it that high. I like to say, like, Devontae is just as shifty as Tyreek Hill and, and Jalen Waddle. I know they're fast, and that's different than shiftiness. But, you know, it changes the direction. But I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Got Tank Dell up there, Marcus Jones, Cooper Cup shifty like that. Cooper, I said I get Cooper a little bit, but I don't, I don't know. I might, I might, I might give Devontae like a 90, 94, 93, but I don't know about ninety seven. Like to say he's in the same company as Tyreek on that with the attribute. Let's see, agility, agility itself. Tyreek and Jalen Waddle. I feel like agility and change generation kind of go hand in hand, but I suppose, I suppose. That boy, Devontae got 90s in both. What do you think Stevens overall is on the new Madden? I give him, I would give him 85. I give him an 85. Look at best hands. Cup injured again? Yeah, I heard about that, man heard about that um i don't know I, I if it happens again they might as well go and rebuild because he's a he's a key player they already lost ramsey um i know they probably don't want to get rid of donald but key player uh let me see attribute deep route running you said hands who got the best hands in the, in the game Catching, I, I, I for sure skipped it. Catching, the catching traffic first. Catching traffic, Justin Jefferson, Mike Evans, Mike Williams, Devonte, T Higgins. Ooh, T 
Can you get up there? Not even top 20 overall for the best in the Madden. Let me check that out. Polish should be up there in agility. That's facts. That's actually facts. Pollard should definitely be up there in agility. Where, where is he at? He wasn't on the list? Not on the list. Not. James Cook? James Cook higher than Tony Pollard. Pollard tough. Pollard is very agile. I still don't see him. Maybe I passed him up. All right, let me go to the running backs real quick. Best by position. Running backs. Let's see how I feel about this. Nick Chubb is the best running back in the game. For respect. So much respect there. I, in my opinion, I, I low-key would give it to Nick Chubb, but it's not something I want to argue. You know, to each his own. All five of these guys right here are arguably the best running backs in the game. Jonathan Taylor, you know, that, whoa, he dropped. He's an 89 now. Eesh. But, um, yeah, man. These five here, are you are you best running back, and I'm, I'm not gonna be mad at you, but I, I if I had to if I had to pick somebody for I think I would pick Chubb. Hold on, you said look at AJ. We talking about Brown? Don't they fell off? He missed the whole season. He didn't get to play. But they got Tony Pollard as a top tier running back. That's cool. That's cool. That's pretty high. Pretty high ranking. Got him at 88. Joe Mixon drops on. Kenny Walker gonna be crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Chubb has never had under five yards per carry. Stevenson better than a lot of them. No, that's facts. Ramondre is better. I, facts. I take Ramondre over Devin Singletary. I would expect him to have a higher a higher rating than than B. John Robinson. I would take him over DeAndre Swift. I would only just because B. John is a is a rookie. He got a high rating for a rookie. His general rating is 87. That's tough. I take him over Cam Akers. Javante Williams, you can argue that. Javante's tough. You can argue that. Um David Montgomery, arguable. I think I think a lot of these are arguable. I ain't gonna lie, but for sure. One, two, three, arguable. I take him over Javante, but somebody can argue that with me. Najee, somebody can argue that with me. Damian Pierce, somebody can argue that with me. Brees Hall, for sure, you can argue that with me. I, I, I take him over David Montgomery for right now. I do that. Travis Etienne, you can argue that. Cordell Patterson, argue with me. I, I take it. I, I will put him top 20, but... I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hey, call me crazy. As as nice as Austin Eckler's season was, and as nice as Austin Eckler is, I I, I, will, I will put him a little lower. I'll put him a little lower. Saints running back room is yes, definitely crazy. They haven't overlooked because Bill didn't run a lot. We're gonna see how it plays out with the Texans. Look forward to that. See how they did draft the running back. They did. Let's see the catching again. I'm gonna go back. I'll go back to catching. Uh Algier has a 78. Did he run for a thousand yards? They really scrubbing some dudes. What the heck? You couldn't get this man an 80. Come on now. Eckler's consistent yearly. You gotta put him up there. Pierce over Najee, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think Najee has Derrick Henry type potential. They just don't have the 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 line or the scheme. And it's not that. I don't think it's. I don't think Najee's trash, bro. I don't. I think he has thirteen hundred yard season potential. Stevenson over Najee right now, but I think he has that potential. No way, Penny over Algier. Yeah, not right now at all. Not right now. Devon A Chain got a 76 overall. That's pretty high. 
That is pretty high. I ain't gonna lie. He's the highest ranked rookie running. No, Jameer Gibbs. Oh, I'm tripping. Bijan, Jameer, and Devon A. Chain is the third highest rated rookie running back. I don't know if I had him that high. I don't. I think I did. Zach Charbonnet is after that. Tajay Spears after that. Tank Bigsby after that. Roshan Johnson after that. They, they their rankings are a little a little different, but I suppose I suppose. Deuce Vaughn got a sixty-eight. Interesting. And it's Cook going crazy this season. I look forward to see how Cook does as the the go to the go to back. Like it's gonna be interesting. I mean, I don't know. I was about to say he's gonna split with Damian Harris, but I read the other day that uh he he's the number one. I read that the other day. That was today actually. Catching. Cooper Cup had 99 catches. Tyler Lockett, 98 catches. Justin Jefferson, 98 catches. Stephon Diggs, 98. Travis Kelsey, shout out to him. That's top five right there. Look at Juju. Juju, Juju got 96. He got 82 overall, but he got 96 catches. That's reliable. That's, that's fire. Same thing with Tyler Boyd. Robert Tunyon, he got 96 catches. Wow. 77 overall. That's like a sleeper player in a uh, in a, uh, a Madden fantasy league. They got you a reliable tight end. TTV breakout season. Where's Jamar? Yeah, ninety four. How Devontae not top five in catching? Do you not see all the catches he made this year? Now Devontae's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, but. I guess it's not spe cause spectacular catch is different than catching. I think catching is just strictly reliability. You see, now if we go, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna keep scrolling a little bit. A little bit. Okay, okay. Now, if we go to spectacular catching, you see. Catching traffic, catching. That's the, is that still a, a rating? Yeah, it is. Spectacular catching, let's see. Justin Jefferson, yeah, I'm about to say Justin Jefferson got to be number one. Mike Williams two, I would I would put Devontae as two. Mike Williams tough, but I, I don't know I don't know if I Mike Williams was going crazy that year with the with the crazy catches this year. Even though he hurt, I feel like Mike Thomas should be up there. He gonna he gonna have to work his way back to it, bro. It's been like two seasons. Brian Muth over Jamar. Devontae Parker. Like Williams top three. Feel that way. They still got Odell up there. That's crazy. Od Odell is grandfathered in. Uh, I don't know. I think I would put AJ Brown a little higher. I think I'll put AJ Brown higher. George Pick. Oh, George Pick got 92. That's pretty good. Vontae Parker. My win should be top four, top five. I think I definitely put AJ Brown a little higher. Mike Thomas got a 91. DPJ, Mr. Reliable. I look forward to see what Allen Robinson does with the uh with the Steelers. I hope he could, you know, somewhat, you know, somewhat rejuvenate his career. Juju got some reliable ratings. He got 88, 96. For him to be an 82 overall receiver, that's some like very reliable ratings. But they'll make moves in practice. Or they're the only player get his uh get his rating boosted off of practice tape. Uh let me see. Deep route running. Nah, I feel like I could assume that. Impact blocking. Hit power. I'll try, I'll let me check out hit power. Who's the hardest hitters in the league? Jamal Adams to bro. I forgot about Jamal Adams. Seahawks finna be sick. He coming back. Seahawks finna be tough, bro. I forgot. I forgot about Jamal Adams. Like, I, like he he be just slipping my mind. He hasn't played in so long. 
I think he just missed one season, right? Or was is it is it like two? One and a half, or is it just one? Erwin James up there. Cam Hayward. Dan O'Neal. The Marvion Overshone, middle linebacker for the Cowboys. Noah Sewell got a 90. Two rookies, two rookies with 90. Trent Simpson got an 89. They got some hard hitting rookies, okay? RB Miller with an 89. Ozzy Smith with an 89. They got some they got a lot of rookies on here. Interesting. Roquan. Will Anderson 88. Well, they they giving these rookies a lot of credit. Smoke Monday. Isaiah Foskey. All right, let me see. Let me see. Honestly, let's see. Best, best by archetype. The best power backs in the league. I like this. I like this. Nick Chubb ranked number one power back in the league. Josh Jacobs number two. Derrick Henry three. In real life, how y'all feel about that? I ain't gonna lie. In real life, I think I'd agree with that. Najee, I think Najee's in that conversation for sure. Like talent wise, talent wise, most deaf. The best power backs. Jonathan Taylor, he runs hard. He runs pretty hard. He's just fast. So I think I think people people look at him like he's a speed guy. Is speed already? No, not yet. Brian Robinson up there for sure. This 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 this, this close to valid. This is pretty close to valid. I like I like all of these names. They're like these these are legit in my opinion, like uh power backs. Let's see. Gosh Jacobs. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Best archetype. Man to man cornerbacks. Hate the Packers, but Dylan should be higher. What was Dylan? Jalen Ramsey is the best man cover corner in the league. Y'all agree with that? Jalen Jair, Passer Tan, Marlon Humphrey, and Sauce are top five best man cover corners in the league. Tredavious White. I can't wait to see him play a full season again, man. Bills was definitely missing him last year. I like Jalen, but I don't know, bro. I be having. I feel like it's not a clear cut every year, thick and thin, number one corner. I feel like every year it could it could be tied or alternated. I, I feel like we're just not in that shutdown era. Stephon Gilmore did it a little bit. You know when he won Defensive Player of the Year, he did it. Uh, prior to him, I feel like that last guy that was like that was Revis. Ron Gilmore was like that at one point. Sauce, Sauce got the potential. And he did have that type of season. But I ain't gonna lie, Sauce be holding. Sauce do be holding. He be getting away with them calls. So I want to see like a cleaner season from him. And don't get called, so technically... Still good coverage because he doesn't get called, but... Do hold a decent amount. Sertan over Jalen. Sertan, the best best uh, man cover corner. Power back wise, AJ Dillon. Okay, I got you. Now I seen I seen Jair get worked by um by Terry McLaurin. But I seen a lot, I seen a few DBs on here get worked by Terry McLaurin, so I don't know. Top three is Sertan, Jair, Lattimore. Lattimore pretty solid too. You know, like he, he was another one of them guys. He had the potential. His rookie season was crazy. And after that, it was like, mm, he's a good corner. You know, really, you know, up there. Top corner, but I don't know if you're gonna be that elite. Dobbs, Moss, Jair today. Life. I mean, that's practice though. That's practice. I ain't gonna, I, I ain't gonna put too much on it because just because it's practice. Let me see. Archetype. Let's see. Best zone cornerbacks. Darius Slade, Trevon Diggs, AJ Terrell, Kendall Fuller, Chidobie and Wuze. As is this valid? This valid to y'all? I think Trevon Diggs is for sure a top five, top three 
arguably you could argue top one uh zone corner i think that's that's i think that's fair Wuzio was injured the whole season. He somehow made it. Somehow made it. Interesting. The Tariq. All right, let me see. Archetype. Slot cornerback. Let's see. Best slot corners. Kenny Moore still got that. Still got that title. Any more Trent McDuffie, Desmond King, Bryce Hall, Jeff Okuda? Jeff, Jeff not a slot corner though. I guess maybe his attributes on Madden make him a good slot corner, but he's not. I don't think he's a. I don't think he that in real life, huh? Make sure you're gonna see Nate Hobbs up there in the cornerback rankings. Cowboys have the best secondary in the league. Cowboys up there. I ain't gonna lie, they up there. Sure. I feel like Trey Zone should be better than man. Mm. See which one I want to see. Best pass coverage middle linebacker. Marte Mapu for the Patriots has, is the best pass coverage middle linebacker in the game. It's wild. Three, four of the top five guys they have on here are rookies. Four. That's crazy. All the guys are rookies. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I, def I definitely don't know how I feel about that. What's up, DeVoe? Aaron Johnson, underrated man. Underrated slot corner. Give kicker some love. Let's see about it. I'm going to see about it. Let's see, archetype. Best run stopping middle, middle linebackers. Let's see how about that. Bobby Wagner, Nick Bolton, Jawan Bentley. Leighton Vanderish, Josie Jewell, Jordan Brooks. Good to see Bobby back with the Seahawks, man. Good to see it. I mean, it was a good run with the uh, Divine Diablos up there. What the heck? I feel like I look at him more like a speed, speed linebacker, like a cover guy. Defensive end. I like somebody asked me to see something earlier and I didn't look at it. I can't remember what it was. They got defensive end power rusher, defensive end run stopper. Just, just overall defensive end. Best hybrid safeties. Tyron Matthew, Kareem Jackson, Eric Rowe, Daxton Hill, Rudy Ford. Daxton pretty tough. Got a lot of potential. Mario. Is he is he he's middle inside inside linebacker? Let's roll. Oh, they got they got the defensive ends. It's left defensive ends, right defensive ends. The defensive lineman, Chris Jones, Dexter Lawrence. Go to. About to hop off in a few yards, just letting y'all know now. A few minutes. Attribute position. Which one did I click on? I saw pass rushers, so edge rushers, I'm tripping. Edge, Aaron Donald, Nick Bosa. Oh, this is this. I think we already knew this here. Max Crosby up there. Okay, check out Max. 94, getting his respect. Bob Miller still still got it, bro. 94. Still doing what he do. 
Matt Milano up there. Milano that works his way up, man, for real. Neil Hunter, Dre Greenlaw, Christian Wilkins, Shaquille Leonard. Chase Young. Y'all think Chase Young will stay with the uh, with Washington? I think they're gonna re up. This by nationality is crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna do all that. We did best power back, best receiving backs in the game. I right, just got a top four, that's it. This was wild. Very wild. I mean C Mac, yeah, but Kinda of wild. Um, right. Best elusive backs. It's interesting. This is interesting. So, Amor, how we doing, man? Henderson can slip on. He's solid. He's solid for sure. All right, Dylan. Uh, let's see, let's see. And chill. And chill as well. Oh, uh, busy. Busy, actually, but chill. Uh, outside linebacker, pass coverage. Best run support safeties. Derwin James, Harrison Smith, Buda Baker, Jamal Adams, Jimmy Ward. Texans need that. I ain't gonna lie. Texans need that with Jimmy Ward for sure. Kyle Duggar, Ufanga, Cam Curl, Derek Force. I'm a tad bit higher than I'm if you need to be. What up, Ding? How you doing, bro? Isaiah, so Isaiah Simmons uh, officially switched to safety. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's scary. That's actually scary. He really did, and it and it worked out. He just gotta come with the right mentality, bro. That's it. Be on the right time, and he could be dangerous. That speed is that that, that size of speed, bro. He could be dangerous, bro. See, best zone safeties. Minka Fitzpatrick, Justin Simmons, Kevin Byer, Jesse Bates, Jordan Poyer. These are some well-respected guys for sure. Micah Hyde, Marcus Williams, Antoine Winfield Jr. He's pretty nice all around. I don't know if Javon Holland was, was Canadian. He had a lot of potential. He has to get traded to the Giants. What are we talking about? Cards need to make Simmons one position. I mean, I thought linebacker was a position, but yeah, he gonna have to. They gonna have to stick something, you know, just in, just uh, invest into it, figure it out. Such a versatile player in college, though, man. And yeah, Giants got Simmons. Oh, that'd be tough. That'd be that'd be tough. Hmm. Let's see. Best physical wide receivers. AJ Brown, Mike Evans, Mike Williams, DK Metcalf, T. Higgins. Y'all y'all put T. Higgins in the top five, but best physical wide receivers. Would y'all do that? Physical archetype. That's that's kind of tough. He do make some tough catches. I ain't gonna lie, like. Nice contested catches. But I don't know. I think I would I would take T out and I'll put I'll put Devontae Adams in. I feel like Devontae definitely like a physical receiver. Also, are you ranking the top 100 videos? I have a question for you. Yeah, I did. I did. I'm at, I'm at, I think I'm at 78 right now. I'm probably going to continue with tomorrow. I'm going to do some more tomorrow night. How's it going, Kaden? How you doing, bro? Jamar's physical. Uh, most deaf. Most deaf. I like T, but I think I could I could, I could think of some names. 
a little more physical than him. Definitely could. Archetype. Let's see, let's see. Best vertical threat tight ends. Oh, you know what? I want to see this one. Best slot slot wide receivers. Have you time it better be top 20? That'd be interesting. Be very interesting. Devontae Adams. I don't think Devontae plays in the slot at all. Cooper Cup, okay, that's reasonable. Keenan Allen, I think he does a little bit. I don't think Devontae Smith does. Amon Raw, I think he does. Brandon IU, Chris Godwin, I think they do. I don't, I don't think Devontae plays in the slot. Hunter, Jacoby Myers. I think Jacoby Myers does. You hear Adam trying to go to the Jets? I seen some some rumor about that, but I, 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 that'd be crazy. CD? Oh, yeah, no CD? CD does play in the slot. That'd be crazy. Yeah, now Adams with the Jets would be unnecessary. I like their receivers right now. It's just like, like KD to the Warriors. But if he does it, like, Oh, I'm not mad at him. Boss news. Rashid Shahid tough. Oh yeah, no. He's he he under the radar, underrated guy. A lot of people don't know about him. He has crazy potential. For real for real. Crazy potential. There's so many good receivers in the NFL right now. Like, if I'm being honest, that is the most stacked position in the NFL. Best route runners. They didn't have anybody here. <laughs> Crazy. Um, all right, y'all. Well, I'll cap it out there. I think I'm good. Good stream. Got to be a mad early. I will stay on later. Uh, I might do a, a little later stream tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because the uh, game is tomorrow, so. We'll catch y'all. Said just can make playoffs. They're gonna make it this year. Pretty sure. But alright, man. Y'all have a good night. Appreciate y'all. Catch y'all tomorrow. Last today. You done messed up, AA Ron! Ain't no need to play games. I'm cool with zeros on this stat sheet. I don't care if you knew Patrick Mahomes. Them lies you tell him won't get past me. If it's meant to be, I'm not gonna ask for a second chance. I'm only gonna ask you once after that, then it's out my hands. I'm not gonna question, just accept it, part of God's plan.